from a disconnected test lab to a working proxy environment, here's how I built it all inside VMware Workstation. First, we prepare the lab. This is my lab setup diagram. I've got one Ubuntu server, which will act as our proxy, and one Windows Server 2022, which has no direct internet access. Let's start by creating the virtual networks. In VMware Workstation, go to the Edit menu and open Virtual Network Editor. Click Change Settings, then select Add Network. First, I'll create the NAT network. I'm choosing VMNet2, setting the connection type to NAT, and disabling the local DHCP server. Now insert the subnet IP for the NAT interface according to our lab setup. Click NAT settings, and you'll also see the gateway IP assigned automatically. Next, I'll add VMNet10 as our internal network and assign the subnet for that based on our diagram. Once done, click Apply and then OK. Now you should see two VMNet interfaces created, one for NAT and one for the internal network. Next, open the Windows Server VM settings and set its network adapter to VMNet 10. Inside Windows, configure the IP manually based on our lab design. Before we install Ubuntu and set up the proxy, let's quickly understand what a proxy server actually does. A proxy server acts like a middleman. When a client, like our Windows server, requests a web page, it doesn't talk directly to the internet. Instead, it sends that request to the proxy which forwards it, fetches the data, and sends it back. This allows you to filter access log traffic, or even block certain websites. Now let's set up our Ubuntu server to do exactly that. Before powering it on, edit the VM settings and add a second network adapter. So now, our proxy server has two adapters, one connected to VMNet 2 for NAT, and the other to VMNet 10 for internal access. I've already mounted the Ubuntu ISO to the DVD drive, so let's power it on. You can follow the standard Ubuntu server installation process inside VMware Workstation. On the network configuration screen, I'm going to configure both interfaces during setup, but if you prefer, you can also do this later using NetPlan. During setup, I need to know which adapter is the NAT one and which is internal. You can verify this using the MAC address shown in VMware. In my lab, the first interface is the NAT adapter. I'll enter IP settings for both interfaces based on our lab plan. Here's something important. Why do we skip the gateway on the internal adapter? That's because this adapter connects only to the local internal network. The main NAT interface handles routing to the internet. Setting two gateways can create routing conflicts, so we leave the second gateway blank. Once both interfaces are configured, continue the installation. If you need help installing Ubuntu on VMware Workstation, Check out the link in the card above. Wait for the installation to complete.
After powering up, log in and navigate to the NetPlan configuration files. If you didn't set static IPs during install, this is where you can define them manually. Again, you can follow the card above for NetPlan instructions if needed. Now, let's check the connectivity. From the Ubuntu proxy server, we should be able to ping the internet and also ping the Windows client. But right now, I can't ping the Windows client, most likely due to the Windows firewall. I'll go ahead and turn off the Windows firewall temporarily. And now the ping works with no issue. So now the lab has fully set up two VMs, two networks, and verified communication. In the next video, part two, we'll install and configure the Squid Proxy, give internet access to the Windows server, and watch it all come to life through the proxy logs. Subscribe if you're into hands-on lab tutorials, and let's move on to the next part.